All right, hello. Uh, today we are gonna take a look at one of our newest addition to the subsumable abilities. We've seen it on the Warframe itself that uses this ability, but we haven't seen it any subsume of it from this channel at all. Other channels have done it. Amalistic, who also gave me a shout out. Thank you very much. I also sought you out because you're an amazing YouTuber. Um, we might see Sci-Fi use this in the future also on Limbo. So shout out to him as well. Very good YouTubers. Both their channel links will be in the description below. Uh, the ability in question is from Gaia and it is her Call Horizon ability. So this normally is just a grouping tool. It is a decent grouping tool. It's not as strong as Nidus's larva in the subsumability. However, it got called recharge. So this augment, uh, some people believed that Gaia would be the only person to abuse this augment very well because Gaia can make your abilities crit. Um, <laughs> one thing about Gaia's ability that is specific to Gaia's ability only and no other ability in the game is that critical damage on these abilities is not your regular 1.0. It's higher. It's most likely 2.0. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it. But that means that on other Warframes, you can actually make this ability crit. How? Well, let's take a look. First of all, Zephyr. The best candidate by far for this ability. Like... You have so many ways to break this, and we'll see how. First of all, her passive. You gain 150% critical chance. It says with weapons, but it's a flat 150% crit chance onto everything. The ability doesn't count as a weapon, yet it benefits from this crit chance as normal, and it will crit. And the best part about this is that you can actually use this, and because this scales with distance traveled, you can put it on a on a spot with tornadoes and then tornadoes will take the electricity and then they will add way way more electric rocks so i made this build it has a mecha set i don't think the mecha set is needed but it further adds to the chaos that you can do so i'm gonna show this and i'm gonna show this on the best scenario possible to make it even more insane which is Alara. So in case you don't know, the enemies in Alara, the Amalgam Corpus, they are weak to electricity, which makes this ability way, way stronger than them. But Alara also has this funny little tile set that has this funny little roof that is kind of high. And also this funny little platform that is bent. Or, you know, it's not bent, it's downhill anyway. It's a downhill. So... Knowing all of this, what do you get by combining all of this together? Well, you go up here with Tailwind, you Turbulence so you don't take damage, and then throw the ball up, bring it back, and then when it drops down, it will just roll back down to the enemies and boom. Bomba. So this just happens over and over. You can amplify this further by adding tornadoes so they can actually pull more enemies in. The ball seems to be pulled by the tornado, sort of. It's like trying. Some abilities kind of pull the ball. Most of the abilities really don't. And tornadoes are one of the weird things that, you know, they kind of do, but they're not really doing it. But as you can see, the range on it gets pretty insane. And then you go down and boom, you have your energy back up and all that. So there is some really interesting ha stuff happening here. Lots of AoE damage. As you can see, Tornado's just trying their best to grab the ability back down. And in general, it's just a very fun basketball type combo that happens. And the way this ability scales is that you see the icon on the top right. But with the call recharge. That is the amount of meters it has traveled. The more it travels, this ability the higher the final damage will be. So, around 200 stacks is more than enough to absolutely one-shot anything, so... You proc it and then you see, boom, big damage. And yeah, you can just leave this be and have this as a... as a very simple mini-game that you do while you're chilling up here on Alara. 
There are other talent sets that you can do this, obviously. Elara is just by far the best one, which is why we're so keen to this. Also, recasting the ability to recall the bolt doesn't really do anything. But holding the ability down will explode it immediately instead of waiting, so there are stuff you can do with it, and it's definitely really funny. The tornadoes themselves, as you can see, they don't do enough damage, they're mainly a grouping tool. Since you have it, you may as well use it. So yeah, pretty funny damage, pretty decent, and Zephyr absolutely goaded with this. So there are some Warpings that can do a lot of stuff doing this, and... Honestly, any Warframe that can fly can literally do this interaction. Any single one. You can do this with Jade. Jade worked absolutely phenomenal with this. And why did Jade work phenomenal with this? It is because Jade has the addition of adding ability strength to her own abilities. So with this build, I was adding strength to my coil and then my coil was absolutely one-shotting everything and then it was becoming 50% more powerful because of the damage vulnerability Gaia provides to enemies hit by her first and her fourth ability. You're flying anyway so you might as well shoot, right? So like, all in all it was just extremely powerful. And I do mean it was extremely powerful. And then, you know, you can do the same thing with Titania, you can do the same thing maybe with Hildren if you really wish to, although I haven't tried because I'm not a big Hildren lover, I think I've mentioned it before. I will probably take a look at her at some point, but when I decide. This one was the one that made me sad, so Lavos was like amazing, but then I realized that, you know how the ball, you go here, it says 10 second cooldown, you were like, okay, that's fine. Like, when the ball runs out after you bounce it a bunch of times, it will just go back and it's a second cooldown. That's okay. Well, the thing is, <laughs> the, the recast of the ball to, like, bring it back to you has the 10 second cooldown innately. So you cannot actually use Lavos to do this. And I was very, very sad because imagine his status duration innately with that shit. That would be very funny. Also, Ivara didn't work with Gary because Gary cannot stand on the on the arrow, on the dash wire arrow, so that was very, very sad as well. Garuda deals a million slash procs and uh, electricity procs, so she was really good with it, but not really practical, to be honest. Garuda has way better subsumes than this uh, that do way more damage. The next one that actually surprised me with how good it was, though, was Ash. So, Ash, the reason he works is, you know, obviously, Smoke Shadow. So, Smoke Shadow, it gives a flat 150% crit chance, and it also grants invisibility to you and your allies. So, going something like this, you basically abuse Smoke Shadow and Call Horizon with a flat crit chance buff that doesn't scale with strength whatsoever. This is a flat crit chance buff, and then Call Horizon absolutely melts everything once again in the same exact Fashion. So, we're gonna see this as well in action. I'm gonna pick Zenric on this one because it's actually not as easy to keep energy. I mean, it becomes easy once you have the starting energy, but on my Ash, I do not have the starting energy to do this instantly. So, we'll just see it like this. And honestly, there are, there are more frames that you can do this, but these are some of the examples you can do this on. I'm not sure if Haro would work. Haro could work, but I don't think Haro would want something like this. Haro is a Gunzerker frame by my standards, at least. Like, from looking at his ability and what he does, I would call him a Gunzerker frame. And honestly, Ash is kind of the same, but Ash has potential for abilities. So, as you can see, damage is. Yeah. It goes kind of hard. 36k procs. Already. Bolt is going crazy now because it has traveled 700 meters. If I explode it, it's gonna... Yeah. Absolutely destroy everything 
Like, that is almost 200 kills per minute, by the way, by doing this. I pressed up on 30 seconds, I had 100 kills by doing this. So, definitely something to look out for. If you're an Ash main, you want more tools to play with. Because, you know, Ash can definitely get some interesting tools to play with. I mean, Cold Horizon is right up your alley. Look at this, that is so good. You have Mark for Death and your third ability for the funny combo, and then you have this. And this is just extra funny. Look at the amount of procs instantly, and then the electricity procs themselves just kill them. Really good. And pressing tab all the time, you see we're like close to 200 kpm with this, so... With some practice, you can really make this work and shine, like... It is very good. Now, for something like Titania doing exterminate missions, the ball gets stuck by terrain. The ball in general is not a really good augment for anything other than survival missions and camping a room like this, or just sending it forward to some room and let it do its thing. It exploded behind me, by the way, that's why you saw the numbers. But yeah, in general, what is normally an unreliable ability, with some frames, it becomes an extremely powerful tool for destruction. So, 400 kills per minute, definitely 200 kill per minute radius, and it's just, yeah. This has to be one of the most fun augments in the game. I've already made a video about this augment and on Gaia and Voruna, both of them, for this, but I didn't have the chance at the time to have a second Gaia to actually try this augment on other Warframes. And now that I did, I had a long stream where I was trying this on many, many different frames and see how it would work. And that was honestly so much fun. And I found out so many crazy combinations. There were a lot of disappointments looking at you. The first <laughs> Warframe that I tried this augment on was Lavos, and unfortunately he didn't work. Unlucky, but it's okay. So you guys could probably think of something else. Like Dante can give himself status duration. You know? Like, status damage increase, status vulnerability. I'm sure Dante would work as well. Let's be real. You just subsume Noctua, you never need it anyway, and you just do this, and he's absolutely busted. I can already tell. I'm gonna try it after this. There is no way Dante doesn't work. He gives status damage. Like, <laughs> Dante will go extremely hard with this. So, yeah. I'm not gonna do it right now, because if we go to my helmet, you'll see that he has been, well, busy. He has been pretty busy with my resources. <laughs> so, even though I tried a lot, Dante will have to wait another day. Very good candidate for this. And you guys can probably think of other things. Sevagoth, absolutely insane for this, probably. And, I don't know. You have a lot. This is a new subsumability that is pretty goaded. As I said, Limbo, Sci-Fi, if you see this video, which I'm sure you will, I really hope you can cook something better than the one I did on my stream you were in. And for everyone else, I hope you guys can start experimenting because this is unironically a new really really good subsume and not many people has talked about its subsume factor just yet so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video small one pretty detailed one and could <laughs> could help you guys out with some interesting stuff i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll leave discord entry links in the description below and i will see you on the next one